In the mid-19th century, the bayonet was an important combat weapon for infantry. At that time, the firing rate of rifles was too slow, and often it was necessary to rely on hand-to-hand -hand combat with bayonets. At the same time, the entrenching tool was also a commonly used tool for infantry, which could be used to dig trenches and build camps. In an era when the army relied heavily on marching on foot, adding any tool was an additional burden for infantry marching. Maintaining physical strength was crucial for maintaining the combat effectiveness of the army, so people came up with the idea of combining the bayonet and the entrenching tool. This matter did not undergo extensive international discussion, but designers from some countries successively put forward their own ideas. Among them, the United States took the lead in the world and developed the Liao shovel-shaped bayonet in the 1860s and conducted tests. The bayonet, designed by Lt. Liao, was mass-produced in the 1870s. The Liao bayonet was designed for the Springfield rifle. Its shape was very unique and looked like a trowel used by a mason, and it was similar in size. It was 368 mm long, excluding the scabbard, with a blade length of 255 mm and a maximum width of 87 mm. It had a leather scabbard to protect the blade, and the scabbard could be hung on the body with a leather buckle, just like a dagger carried on the body. The Liao bayonet had a triangular blade with a sharp point and a reinforcing rib on the back of the blade. It was not suitable for chopping, but was suitable for stabbing and shoveling. In later production, to make the grip more comfortable, the designer equipped it with a handle made of peach wood, which could be inserted into the empty handle of the bayonet. When installed on the rifle, it could also be used as a shovel, but digging was prohibited, for fear of causing the barrel to bend or deform due to excessive force. Despite much criticism, the U.S. Army obtained 200 and 500 Liao bayonets for testing in 1868 and 1869, respectively. The feedback from the soldiers was that this type of bayonet was very practical. By 1873, an improved version of the Liao bayonet was equipped in the army, with a total of about 10,000 bayonets. In fact, the United States abandoned this multifunctional bayonet in the mid-1870s. This was also the reason why the Liao bayonet was not continued to be equipped. Under the technological conditions at that time, it was better to separate the functions of the bayonet and the entrenching tool. Although the wide blade of the Liao bayonet could cause more serious stabs, it did not have an advantage in close combat. The Liao bayonet had a short and limited service life. In fact, its multifunctional approach was not wrong. Many of our current bayonets also have functions such as chopping, sawing, and cutting, but this is thanks to the advancement of materials and manufacturing processes. The Liao bayonet is also an interesting collectible, but its price is not expensive. A good quality bayonet with the original scabbard is only a few hundred dollars.